Hello, everybody. This is Pastor Dean, and this is a program we call Five Life-Changing Minutes. I'm convinced that the Lord has inspired me to pass along to you such powerful words, such powerful words that they were so powerful that they will change your life in five minutes a day. Can you risk an investment of your time, five minutes a day? Can you pass it along to others on behalf of God so that people will think how he thinks rather than thinking primarily of themselves? It's a Right now, my gosh, folks, you and I are standing face to face with uh, situations in our nation that really need to be changed. Uh, One of them happens to be COVID-19. That's a situation that uh, really, when you take a look at the entirety of it, even in its weakened stage, looks totally impossible for man to control. And, um, but it's not a situation where it is impossible to get controlled. It's not, it's not. I have the answer right here in this program. And those, some of you will really recognize the truth. Others will poo-poo me as a, an old fogey. But uh, listen to the, let's just listen to the five minutes and then decide. But you see, uh, when it comes to COVID-19, this country is practically godless. Uh, Supposedly, 80% of the country is Christian. I don't believe that. If we have have 20% of the country uh, as legitimate Christians, that would be a figure I think would be much more accurate. Oh, yes, we've got people who want to go to church. They want to act religious. Uh, But they're not really... Christians. They say beautiful things and they talk about God and then they, they'll they slice your neck off at the first opportunity. That's not the kind of a Christian uh, I, I, I would have any confidence in. But you see, uh, it, there's, there's a verse in, um, in the Bible which has, uh, which, by the way, the Bible is, there's so much astounding proof that it is everything it says it is that I'm not even going to start that conversation right now because we haven't got time. But the Bible, which is astoundingly accurate, which is astoundingly powerful, tells us how to handle the coronavirus or the Chinese virus. Here's the verse. The things which are impossible with men are possible with God. He can do the impossible. He has done it. The founding fathers depended upon God to create solutions for impossible situations. Abraham Lincoln relied on God to create solutions for impossible solutions. And today, 
because of foreign meddling. This country is on the brink of a full-fledged civil war. And we need a God. We need a God who will listen to us. He doesn't listen to doubters. He doesn't listen to people who really don't believe in him. See, this country belongs to God. He's the one who brought the United States of America into existence. And he had a special purpose for it. He needed a country where the gospel could be preached freely and not suppressed. And when that happens, countries prosper beyond measure. And that's exactly the history of the United States of America. We've got to be faithful to God. We've got to take the coronavirus as a nation and go to him and say, listen, we're taking your scripture, we're believing it, we're believing you, and we're telling you we're turning this situation over to you, and then we're not going to worry about it. We're not going to wear masks. We're going to open the businesses. And we're going to keep saying every single day, the things which are impossible with men are possible with God. And Lord, we've been looking for an answer to this virus and we cannot find it. And watch what happens. This nation would be cured of the virus. Others would be envious, especially the countries where they have dictators who rob and steal and blind from their citizens. I've got the answer right here in this program, and hardly no one will listen to it unless I get a surprise. Father, get this program into homes, into businesses, into smart people's ears and allow them to listen without prejudice so that we can get this country rolling again. I need you to pass this program to others. I need you to believe that God can take this virus and spit it out of his mouth. He's that powerful. Write to me. I do not respond to anybody on Messenger because I would be uh, sitting at a, at a computer all day long uh, just saying hello to everybody. My email address is dean.pepin, P-E-P-I-N, at gmail.com. You can uh, either comment on this program right here or you can send me an email, dean.pepin at gmail.com, and I will be more than happy to answer you. I've gone way over my time, but I felt this was an important message, and I I, I really have tried to make this program daily, uh, but it's impossible. I'm 70, almost, well, I'm in my 74th year, and I'm working a a part-time job in order to keep uh, the finances in our ministry solvent, and uh, I'm not saying that to gain pity or donations. I'm not even asking for a donation. We're fine financially, but uh, I have to work. I don't ask you for money, and it, it kind of exhausts me at the end of the day, and then I don't feel like doing the program, and I suppose I have to get a little bit more disciplined and organized, and uh, I, 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 uh, I plead guilty to that. Okay, I'll talk to you tomorrow. This is Pastor Dean, And this has been a very long five (laughs) life-changing minutes. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. I love you.